Hi guys, Chris Davis here. This tutorial is going to be based on a simple Y-hang, what we call a small Y-hang. It's one of the key competency skills required of any level one technician. First of all, we need to tie our first knot. So I, in this case, create a figure of eight on a bite, holding the tail of the rope in the tip of my finger. The bite is on the instep of my hand and the, the, the whole tail is in my uh, armpit here. Start with the tail on the left, drop the bite to the right, put the bite around to the left, hold the twist, the bite round to the right and back through the hole at the back. So we're creating a figure of eight on a bite. This tail needs to be a minimum of 10 centimeters long, so really exiting your, your, your fist. Attach that to the anchor point and do the gate up. Now we're gonna tie in alpine butterfly. The alpine butterfly is used as a mid rope knot and in this case to equalize the load between two anchor points. Firstly start and decide where you want your knot to be. I want the knot round about here. So you wanna go just past the anchor point because it will take a little bit of rope to tie the knot. Create two twists. There's one twist, there's two twists. Now we can drop this bite. Holding the second twist in the same position you, you had the first twist, reach around the back and grab the bite of the rope. Now you wanna pass the bite through the loop that's created between your, your thumb and forefinger of the second twist. Pass that through the loop. Holding the first twist, pull the bite through until the knot's nice and tidy. Attach that to your anchor point and do the gate up. If we need to adjust this slightly to go left or right, depending on the angle we want to achieve, all we do is grab the side that's um, short, pull the slack through a little bit, decide one of which one of these loops need to pull tight, and there's your Y hand created. The angle that you're going for is between 60 and 90 degrees. The 90 degree angle is what we would call our optimum angle. 